do you want a sneak peek? This is an envelope. Aunt Beth, this is going to come your way. I still have to paint the back of it. I hope you like it. I had a lot of fun with the fine line paint applicator, as you can tell. I've already handled it, and the paint is still wet, for it, so I'm waiting for it to dry. This is coming your way. I'm getting the inchy swap ready to mail. I have it all packaged up. I'll show you my inchies. These are the set that I kept for myself. We did purple, orange, yellow, blue, green, and red. And I just put bits and pieces on there. I'm a little bit worried about them staying tight on the piece. I did use double-sided removable tape, but they're kind of loose in there. So this I did with my acrylic inks, and I did both sides, but it, these were really not sticking on here at all. So I cut a piece of white ATC-sized paper and put them on that. But I wanted to send this along anyway. So you've got two ATC-sized pieces in there. So I bet this is going to be coming your way. I may not get these mailed until Friday morning, but they are going to be mailed. Now, the real reason why I came on, I did a live today. I'm still playing with the ultra-thick embossing powder and the glycerin. This side turned out really nice. I'm really happy with this side. This is so fun. I'm not going to go into the whole process of how I did that. If you want to see how I did it, watch my impromptu live session on March 14th. But what I want to talk about is I used this little bride and groom picture and I learned something. Well, I learned a lot by doing this. This was so fun to do. Just really fun to do. But I learned something. This is a magazine image and I got all my, I embossed this whole thing with glycerin as the base. Glycerin is very oily and it received the embossing just fine, and I used my inks on it. I'm really happy with that part. But what I'm not happy with is that glycerin is soaking through to this magazine image. And I think that's why I'm getting these spots in here. See, she's got a little spot right there on her face. And there's, it's just, there's some spottiness going on in there. And I think that's how the glycerin is reacting with everything there. I haven't given up on this technique. I'm finding my way through it. What I want to do on this side is I cut out a couple of images. This is a really thin magazine. I think this came out of the Real Simple magazine. But look at all the white area on here. There is text on the back of this. As you can see on here, if you look really close, if I can hold it at the right angle, you can see even the text on the back of this page is starting to show through which is kind of fun in the way there's a photograph down here. That's kind of fun in a way to see that for a mixed media project. You can see it maybe a little better if I hold it, angle it different ways with the light. And I love the unevenness of this clear glossing embossing uh, powder after it's been embossed. I was talking about it in my live today and I was telling how I had wandered into a little button boutique when I had the opportunity to go to England. And I think this was on Portobello Road there, and they had that big flea market. And I wandered into a little button shop, and I was the only one in there. And so the, the little lady in there was a typical, lovely little English lady. Think of a little, little skinny, small-framed English lady with the white hair pulled on top of her head and glasses and speaks with that... English accent did you just love? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> she was telling me how I could identify glass buttons that were handmade from the glass buttons that were manufactured. And I can really see this even when I, when you hold this here, see all that bumpiness and everything? You can, you, it's uneven. Well, she was telling me that that is how you can identify antique handmade glass buttons and if they're manufactured they're 
they are nice and smooth. I love it. I, I am just having a lot of fun. But I want to keep experimenting with this. I want to get to where I want to be with it. I I did not intend on this being so dark. It That glycerin really darkened that picture. And this is how you learn. You You learn how your media affects your materials and why and what to do next. So what I'm going to do next is... I'm going to work on this side, and I think I'm going to put this piece on it. I hate covering up so much of this. I may trim some of this off as I get to working with it. I'm not going to do the entire thing tonight. And I have a picture of Snow White here, and I was thinking it would be fun. I'll keep the little, the little birds. They're so sweet, but I don't need all this dark area there. I was thinking that Fussy cut her out and put her right here. And look, there's, look at this. Now, like I said, I'll trim all this out so you can see the embossing underneath. But look, there's a lady in the cage with the open door, and here's Snow White and the little birds here and the little birds there. So these two real images, completely unrelated. Unrelated sources. I got this out of a history book, I believe. It was talking about animated films. This came out of a real simple magazine. And I am so fascinated about how these images can come into my life and tell a story all of their own. It, it, it's like they come together and say, we have something to tell you, Mary. <laughs> but what I want to do in this video is I'm going to use some of this matte medium. And I'm going to seal both of these images. Especially this one that has a lot of white with the text on the back. This has white areas. I want her I want her to stay white. She's snow white. And there's text on the back, but I will be fussy cutting this image out. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And then I'll probably close out the video. And Friday night, in my Friday night live, I'll come back and we will work with these images on this side of the page. But for right now, all I'm going to do is going to fast forward and seal these images probably on both sides and then I'll probably just close out the video and we will work with them again on Friday night.